Hi guys, it's Rob here from Turn It Blood um, YouTube channel and GamePit.co.uk and today I'm going to be taking a look at Prison Boss VR. So this is the second time I've played the game. Uh, the first time the recording didn't come out quite as I hoped so I thought why not just scrap the whole video and start again. Um, so I'll explain the game as we go through. Um, it is quite simple but also really complicated and quite tricky um, but you'll see that when we um thumbs uh, when we get into it so let's just grab our little buddy and totally miss <laughs> where i was trying to put him there we go start a new game in this prison because i've not moved on to the second one yet so prison boss or how to craft your way into jail how to jail even or into jail i don't know um Good morning, kids. There's lots of prohibited stuff in life you should not touch. Worse than touching, you should never do any crafting of these items. It's strictly forbidden. To make sure that you never craft these items by mistake, we will provide you with step-by-step -step guides on how to craft these illegal goods. Without further ado, kids, let's start to not become criminals, or whatever that said. The cigarette. Sorry, my headset's a little bit wonky. Let's just wipe it. Right, so it's going to tell us how to make a cigarette to make sure that we don't make a cigarette, basically. Um, it is going to give us a full guide on there, but I'll show you what we do. So what we do is we grab a paper, you grab it with two hands, and you rip it into two pieces of paper. And we place it on the table. Next, we grab the uh, tobacco, and we have to tip that onto the paper. Okay, I didn't mean to throw it over there, but I don't think we need it anymore anyway. And next, we just grab the tobacco and press the move button on the top very fast on both of them to make a half rolled up um, cigarette. And then we lick it and we have a cig uh, cigarette. So let's just do it with a second one as well. Oh, okay. Only oh, want me to do one. <laughs> Right, so this is Wednesday, the 24th of winter. Okay, I started in summer last time I played. Uh, hello, di guy. Um, welcome to this shithole. It's put me very high up. Okay, now it's put me facing that way for some reason. One second. There we go, it's a bit better. I'm a bit, a bit lower down now. So welcome to the shithole. Uh, I hope you've seen old prison movies. Everything works the same around here. Some guy comes here every day, he'll tell you what the other inmates need and then sell you the materials. I heard you know how to craft, uh, so make sure you check out what that guy has and, uh, and supply your cell. So that's Bobby, he is awesome. He also likes to escape. Uh, if you run out of materials or money, sell Bobby. Um, and now, in my first playthrough, I managed to unlock a gold version of him, and then I stupidly sold him, and I lost the gold one. Um, that's the main reason why I'm starting again, because I want to get another gold Bobby. Um, so you don't have anything useful for now. Toss Bobby into the box. Right, so there's his sale box. So we'll sell Bobby. And as you can see, we've been given some papers and some tobacco. So here you go. When you're all set to use the night, hit the clock and go crafting. Right, so during the daytime... Uh, so, sorry, by the way, I hope you caught up your sort of not lost i am going a bit fast with it but basically we're hidden in the prison and um, we click on the clock to go to night time which i'll do in a minute we can't craft anything as you can see during the daytime you can only do it at night so what you need to do during the day while there's no guards is hide all of your things because if you get caught with any of these at night time then you'll um lose everything basically so we'll just hide all of that and we'll go to night time and now night time is where the fun begins so what we need to do now is prepare this so let's just put that there people that keeps getting knocked out <laughs> there we go right so what we need to do is pick this up properly we need to watch because there'll be a guard appearing over there. So we need to do this really fast. Oh. 
And what we'll do is we'll stash these in here. And uh, one observation that I did make when I played it the first time is everyone seems to sound like Weeble and Bob. So I don't know if you've ever actually heard of Weeble and Bob. Um, it's an old like internet meme, pretty much. It's like one of the first um, little mini cartoons that I watched on uh, the internet many, many years ago. And they still do videos now. But it's about these two egg people called Weevil and Bob. There's a copper. Um, and they love air uh, pie. Bye, 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 bye. Mm, and these guys look and sound just like them. Right, so what we need to do is hide everything. Because if he comes around here and he sees anything that we shouldn't have, then he'll confiscate everything and... Um, We'll get no money for this night. So let's just wait here. We could have done a few more bits, but there's no point risking it, to be honest with you. Come on, guy. Nothing to see here. Right. So we can do two more. And then we're all out of tobacco. Now there is different things that we can craft later on. Well, obviously for now, it's just cigarettes. And luckily the guards only do one circle. They do one bit and then they'll go back in. Um, I don't know if later on that will change and they'll go in different directions. But all I've seen so far is them going in one direction. There we go. So we can't do anything else for tonight. So we may as well skip to daytime. Now, if you do skip to daytime um, and you've left items out, you'll get a search at this time. And if you get caught with anything out, same as before, you'll get nice everything block. confiscated. Let's bump his fist. Right, so this is what we can do now. So we can either trade or, like, report on doing jobs. So let's see what the jobs are. See, so that guy wanted two cigarettes and he'll give us four tobacco, one paper and three reputation. Um, what else have we got? That one wanted three, and it'll give us four, one, and three. And that one wants five, and it'll give us two, four, and four. So what have I actually got? Let's get rid of the tobacco, because I don't really need it. Huh? Oh, we actually got six. There we go. So we actually managed to do six cigarettes. And um, I just put in two bits of tobacco as well, which I could possibly keep, but never mind. Um, so we could actually trade that in for this one, this one, or this one. Because I've got six, I may as well get rid of two of them, aren't I? Oh, we've leveled up. Okay, so when you level up, you get gifts. So this one's gave me a lamp, which I can buy. A erotic letter, which I can now create. Which is a pain in the ass, by the way. Um, more tobacco is available. Okay. Um, a pencil for the erotic letters. Um, more paper. And a nightstand with drawers is available. And that's the gift that we got. We got a bit of paper and um, some tobacco. But let's do this one as well. So that one gave us two more bits of paper, but no tobacco. Oh. Okay. So I've got enough there for two, four, six. Six cigarettes. Um, and I think that does six as well. Let's see what we can buy. Um, tobacco does 18. Oh no, you can get 18 of them. Okay. Uh, I've got 12 left though, so let's get let's get some more tobacco, two more of those, and two papers. There we go. And just like before, let's just um, hide one of them in there. Oops. That one's nearly empty, actually. Will he have enough tobacco? 
Hmm. Caroline, think about that right now. Let's um, let's leave it at that, and we'll get started on making these cigarettes once it turns nighttime. So this game is pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, it's all about managing your time and hiding things and remembering how to craft things. Because, uh, like I said before, there is a load of different things that you can craft that are worth different um, amounts and also different people want different items off you so it is all about learning them remembering how to craft them and um, pleasing everyone basically all whilst avoiding the coppers now obviously it's called prison boss so the aim of the game I'm guessing because I've obviously not got that far is to do with escaping the prison because I have seen in the trailers that you can like dig holes in the wall and stuff. But obviously I'm nowhere near that point yet. So I can't really comment on what you can and can't do. Oh shit, I can hear someone. Can we do one more? Right, we don't want to get caught by him. You know what? just to be on the safe side <laughs> it looks like he is taking his time but I don't want to risk it All right, so just wait for him to go by right Let's Get a cigarette and back out again. Oh, I'm going to be running out of tobacco, aren't I? Come on. So let's hide that in there. We do only go till six o'clock as well. So once it reaches six o'clock, it's for daytime. So we need him to hurry up and bugger off so we can get this cigarette done. Come on, hurry up. Fast, 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 fast. Got you. There we go. We may as well just wait because we've only got a few seconds left. There we go. Day three, Friday the 26th of winter. You alright, dude? Boom. Right, I have for you one, two, three, four. Oh. Five, six cigarettes. There you go, mate. Um, you want five love letters. Um, you want three cigarettes. See, that will increase my reputation, which will increase this here to get in a new parcel. But it won't. Well, it gets me four tobacco by the looks of it. Hmm. Oh, this one gets me four tobacco, two paper, and four reputation. Okay, let's do this one. Right, so I've got a bit of tobacco. And I've got enough for four, five, six, seven, eight cigarettes. I have eight. Can I buy some? Do I need paper? No, I need tobacco. There we go, we can get loads of tobacco. Now I really don't need... Always put it all in one, right? Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Um, yeah. <laughs> trying to think what to do next. There you go. So shut that. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do some more cigarettes tonight. Now, it will let us do something else. 
Like I said, I've got the erotic letters. They are a pain in the ass to do. Uh, but obviously, I will do them to show you what they're like. And also, I need them to pass the um, milestone in a way. I do find this drawer nice and handy for putting your cigarettes in. It's not very handy for putting some of the other stuff in, though. The only bad thing about this game that I've noticed so far is the tracking. As you can see, I'm now quite far away from the table, but a minute ago I was quite close. It does seem to move you around quite a bit. So I don't know if that's me, or if it is an issue with the game. Could be a bit of both. Because I am using a um, first generation PSVR. Which wasn't the best with certain tracking, to be honest with you. Can I get this done before he gets around here? Just making sure that other tobacco wasn't there because I don't know where it went. Quick, make a break for it. <laughs> Hello. Right. They're very stupid, these guards. <laughs> they definitely managed to do six cigarettes again, though. I thought I had more paper than this. And more tobacco, actually. Right, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight I did. Okay. Did a little bit more. Fast forward. Day four. Right, come on then, buddy. Let's give you all these cigarettes. Well, see, it keeps moving me a bit. Anyway, um, but yeah, also just before I carry on, this isn't the only part of the game. As you saw at the beginning, there is multiple different prisons that you can get into once you unlock them, but I'm not sure how you unlock them yet. But there is also a endless mode where you have a cell that's got like a lever that you pull, and as you pull the lever, more goods fall from the vent, and you've got to just keep going and going, um, and the more things that you sell, the more time gets added onto your very short timer. And you've just got to try and last as long as you can and make as many points as you can. So that's another mode that I may cover as well in another video. Right, jobs wise. Um, see, he wants cigarettes, but then this guy down here wants cigarettes and dirty letters. So let's do the cigarettes one to get more reputation. Because it's now unlock new things for me. Fabric, so we can now make rope. Uh, we've got a locker. Rope is now available. And more paper is available. And the new quests that we've got. See, there's a the little golden buddy. That's the one that I want to do. But we need to do some dirty letters. Um, so we need money. Um, Alright, so to do dirty letters then, we need these. They're really easy to do. The rope is piss easy to do, but it's quite expensive. Because you need nine of those to make one piece of rope. And each one costs nine. Um, let's do some dirty letters. So I've got one bit of paper at the moment. Let's grab a pencil. Which is very expensive, actually. It's 16. Now, I don't like doing these dirty letters, but I feel that they need to be done. And you'll see why I don't like doing them in a minute. <laughs> the first thing that I don't like doing about them is the fact that the paper doesn't seem to like fitting in the drawer properly. Let's just grab all these. Sorry, it's so hard trying to fit this paper in because 
if one even sticks out just a little bit, the guard will detect it. No, that's better if I hold the draw with my hand. There we go. <laughs> right, let's go to night time and I'll show you how to do the dirty letter. It's nice and easy, but it's also a pain in the ass. I don't know how long that pencil's going to last because I've never had one break yet. Right, dirty letter is case, basically a case of picking up a pencil and scribbling on the page until it happens. The reason why I don't like it is it's very inconsistent <laughs> with doing it. Pencils are also classed as bad items, so you can't be caught holding the pencil either. So I've done three so far. See if you can get five or six done. You can also hold a paper in your hand while writing with the other hand, but I find that to be a bit glitchy. So I tend to um, just stick it on the table and do it. Just wait for um, Mr. Plum to walk past. It's like gone three o'clock already, mate. Hurry up. On. I know I should have carried on writing, but I don't want to get caught. I got caught once in my original video, and that's because I stupidly let a pencil fall on the floor. See, he's got one of my cigarettes. And I know it's one of mine because one of the tasks that you get is to um, do cigarettes for the guards. <laughs> oh no, there's another one already. Hey, you know what? Oh, she's on the phone though. I don't think she'll notice because she's um, too busy chatting. Oh, she stopped there, though. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing here, mate. Let's get this scribbled out quick. <laughs> Daytime now, bollocks. Right, um, let's just put them on the table. I didn't do very much for you, mate. I've got one, two, three, four dirty, um, dirty letters. One off that one. See, I want to get this, but I need three cigarettes and three ropes. I don't know how much they're worth. They're for 40. Just for four of them. That one just needs two and it needs four cigarettes. Um, I think I need to be working on this, but I ain't got enough for that. Right. I have enough to do one, two, three more dirty letters. If I can get another bit of paper... Maybe. Wait, I'm getting 10 for each of these and they're only worth three. Okay, there we go. So if I get all them, and then if you've got any money left, they basically give it you in cash. <laughs> so I can just stick that in my um, safe. Okay. 
I actually should have put that in here, but... I doubt I'm going to get through anywhere near all these. There we go. Right, so if we keep it as that... Then if we can get a load more of these, and they've only cost us three each. I didn't realise it were making um, seven... Seven dollars, or whatever it is, on each one. I know that that one went on the floor. I just hope this bloody pencil doesn't break after I've only done two or three. There we go. thing is, if a, an inmate gets a dirty letter, but I wrote it, does that mean they like my dirty letters, or do they like the person that I'm pretending to be writing these dirty letters? Hmm. I hope I'm going to become no one's bitch. They're falling out. That's safe. Oh shit, there's someone here. <laughs> He's quite fast, this guy, so... Oh, shit. I don't want to get caught by him. Not when I've got about four or five of them done. They always stop there for a couple of seconds. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. I know I've not been talking that much about the game, but hopefully it shows you what the game is like. Um, like I say it does change. I am. Um, I will see if I can afford the rope, because the rope is one of the easiest ones to do. It's just one of the most expensive. But once we can start afford to do the rope, we can um, start making the serious money. Come on, come on. There we go. Now, I've not actually unlocked anything after the rope. So hopefully I'll do that in this uh, video as well. Don't know how long it's been on so far. I'm imagining about 15 minutes or so. Yourself to yourself, mate. Oh, it's daytime. There you go. Right. Okay, dude. Let's see what we've got for you today. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Any jobs? So we could do that one, which give us seven rep, which will put us around here, and almost up to our final one that we need for three star, uh, three little buddies. But I want this, so we need three ropes and three cigarettes and three love letters. So if we look at it that way. I've got enough tobacco. I need three bits of paper. Three bits of paper. And rope. I need nine of those. I don't know how much rope sells for. Tell you what, we'll get that. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I got my money from before, haven't I? Huh? Um, oh, there's only one. Uh, we're going to be out of rope. We'll see how we get on with this.
Right, so the rope is really easy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to have a spare bit of rope, but they can easily be made into rope. Let's put this in here. I need some more space, don't I? <laughs> and they can't fit in there, so I'm going to have to put these in here. Um, and let's just put the tobacco there. So these are going to be done really quick. But I'm going to have to make space in there for them because they are quite big. Right, let's do this. And now you'll get to see how easy it is to make rope. There's one rope. Two rope. There you go, see, so <laughs> rope is the easiest thing to do, um, but it's also the one that takes up the most room. It's also the most expensive, but I'm guessing it's going to be the one that gives the biggest reward as well. Now, I didn't have enough to do free rope. So. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. All you gotta do is hide it from their line of sight. So as long as they can't see it, then it should be fine. Um, but yeah, we ain't got enough. We so we ain't <laughs> we ain't got enough. No, we we ain't got enough for um a free rope. So we need to buy two more bits of fabric so we can buy that final piece of rope. And then the love letters and the um, cigarettes. I've got two cigarettes so far. I might just do all love letters with this one. Another one coming. See, it's out of 10 days, even though my first save let me go to day 11, which is a bit weird. Um, but as the days go on, oh shit, these guys get faster and more frequent. <laughs> so we've got one hour left. Don't think I'll get anything done in that one hour. But we can try. Try and do one more letter. Come on. Tell you what, this pencil has lasted a long time. I thought it would have expired by now. Right. Next day. Right, I'm guessing we're going to be able to do this. We just need one more piece of... Well, two more pieces of fabric. Boop. Right, you wanted... Free cigarettes, a free rope, and free love letters. Love letters, I have one, two, three. I have two bits of rope. Um, and I have two cigarettes. Uh, two cigarettes, yeah. So I need one more cigarette. And a rope. Wow. I only need one more cigarette, so I only need one more bit of paper. I need that. So can I afford two more bits of fabric? I can. Right, okay. 
there's, there's a lot of um, item management involved in this. Right, okay. So we're going to have that to make the cigarettes with. We've got that to make the rope with. Let's put the cigarettes in here. And there's the tobacco. Um, doesn't say how much tobacco you've got left. But I imagine there's at least two. But we'll need one anyway. Um, that's me done. Right, so let's... Um, Go to night time and get our golden little buddy. See if we can unlock the second level as well. Like I said, I'm not sure quite how we do it. All right, there's our three ropes. So now what we need to do is tobacco. Just enough. There we go. We've got a trophy there as well for something. Let's um, skip to the daytime. There we go. Day eight. So this should be our final day, hopefully. I have all of these for you, mate. We have one rope. A dirty letter. A dirty letter. A dirty letter. Another rope. Another rope. Oh. A cigarette. Another cigarette. A third cigarette. And we'll give you a fourth cigarette as well. And you know what? Let's toss in four dollars as well. And boom! You made your way to the top. It feels nice, isn't it? If it means doesn't it? Um, oh. Right, the one other criticism about this game is the text goes way too fast. I have no idea what that text was supposed to be saying just then. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. So, watch this then. Oh, these are how you want to escape now. So the smoke screen plan requires four cigarettes and free rope. The great distraction is six love letters and two rope. So we're actually going to go for this one. The smoke screen. So we need free rope again. I have a little golden buddy. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what we actually use him for, but never mind. Um, Let's... Let's see. If I need to make cigarettes and rope, they're worth 10 each. I could do four of those. If I do four love letters, that'll give me 40. Then I can buy a load of supplies. I've still got a pencil. Huh? There we go. Yeah, so it's all about planning what you can do and how much money you need to do the next thing, basically. These are worth 10 each. So we're gonna get 40, for if I can complete all four of these. And then we should be able to buy enough um, stuff to do cigarettes with. And then we should be able to do some rope. But the rope is expensive. Actually, you know what? I think I might need to figure out how expensive the rope is. Because I might need to do some more of these love letters. Although it is absolutely murdering my right hand right now. 
That's I've only got those. Better than nothing. I wonder if we can escape within the ten days. But it's nine day nine, so I doubt we can. Well, we're on day eight at the moment, I think. I don't know. But yeah, um, let's see what we can get. Right. So we've got 40. To do free rope, we need... Um, so that's that 48 plus another 24. Yeah, we need at least 72. 72. So we can get seven papers and do seven love letters. But then we've got to hope that they're available as well. Oops. Right, let's just get them. You can't sell that little golden buddy either. <laughs> but like I said, if you do sell that white one up there... Um, it will delete your gold buddy. I uh, don't want to do that. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, we're going to try and do seven love letters. I, I know this is going to absolutely murder this hand. But it's got to be done. Yeah, mate, that's not how you hold a pencil. <laughs> right, we're going to actually pick up that pencil again, see if we can grab it. What's wrong with him? Can't do I imagine anyone watching me try and do this while I've got the VR headset on will have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Three. I mean, I've got five more to do. No, four. I'm doing seven out and not eight. Right, so this guy didn't. Oh, no, there he is. I thought he was working on stop at the corner then. You see, some of these. These grapefruit ones. There's that girl who has the mobile phone that went around before that I pointed out. She doesn't seem to look in your cell, so I don't know if that means that you can get away with having stuff out because she's not looking. But to be honest with you, I don't want to risk it. He's quite fast, actually, that one. Oh, I'm not going to get much done, am I, if I keep waiting? Oh, shit. I was going to say, can I do it while it's in the drawer, but I don't really want to risk it. Let's wait until he goes past. We've got less than an hour, though. I'm not going to do it within the 10 days. It's a shame. Damn it. 
Right. Okay. So I have you, you, you. Oh, we did get five done. Okay. Right, so we need... I've got two, so I need seven of these. I've got enough for five. It needs three, though, doesn't it? Free rope. Um, have I got any tobacco? No. And I've got enough to do two more love letters. Do some more love letters, I suppose. Because tobacco only costs one. It's gone down in price. Actually, it has gone down in price as well. It's worth two. Oh, it's worth ten. Oh, that might have gone up in price, actually. That one's definitely gone down. It's only four. Oh, actually, it's gone up. I think it was three before. Hmm. Let's get some tobacco, get some of that, and we'll get some paper. So I can't use these yet. So two, three, four, five, six. So we've got enough for two ropes, but we need three more. So what we're going to do is, if we need three more, and they cost ten each, we're going to need at least three more love letters and then cigarettes. Which I I have tobacco for, but I have no paper. Because paper costs four. Right, we're not breaking out tonight, mate. Or tomorrow, even. It's a shame, because I really wanted to get out of here tomorrow. no room. Put them back there, they shouldn't be able to see them. Um, hopefully. <laughs> I don't want them to raid it and take everything. He's got his eyes closed anyway. Fair enough. We need one more rope. And then cigarettes. <laughs> right, we're breaking out tonight, mate. Wow. And you know what? You can have my pencil because I don't wow. need it now. Which is good because he gives me 16 for the pencil. Can I grab the money? Right, so I've got two rope, and that's it. I need three rope and four cigarettes. 
That's fabric, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to be enough for my free rope. And I need four cigarettes. So two of these. And... Was it four cigarettes? Yes. That should be enough. I've got two bits of paper, free fabric, and one of them. We'll just stash our money back over there. There's nothing in that tobacco. Well, that's enough for one, isn't it? I need four. I need six. There's four. Oh, actually, I've got a full thing here. That's fine. Actually, you know, back. I was going to say they're not giving my money back. <laughs> um, I've got loads of tobacco now. Um, I don't need that many. Um, paper, paper. These will get done really quick, but I need to... Oh. <laughs> I need to hide that. There we go. Right. So let's get the rope done first. Because that's the easiest thing to do. hard work that one <laughs> there you go oh no there's someone coming I shouldn't see what's in there, and I should have enough stuff to now escape. This is the first time I have done an escape, so hopefully it works. <laughs> right, guy, I'm ready for my escape. I have one. Two. No. Two. Three. Ropes. Bit of cash. It's a cigarette. Some tobacco. Some more cigarettes. And some more tobacco. And let's escape this place. Yes. Trophy. Um. What are those guys doing? Um. Oh, they stage in the escape or something. You can't go tonight right now. Oh, hello. Oh, have I got a... Smash the cable bars. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even realise that was there. So, I did 556 out of 300. I, days passed 11 out of 10. I was one day over. Times caught zero. So I've got a silver. Cool. Then if we go to the next prison, I'm just going to see what it looks like. I'm not going to play it in this playthrough, but... Oh, it's this one. This is the one that's in the unlimited mode that I was saying before. Wait, I'll leave her. Because obviously a half the door is blocked off, so it's hard to see what you're doing. Um, but yep, can I quit out of this from here? No, let's just do that. Hell's well, just shit old. Yeah, yeah, we know all about that. Blah, blah, blah. And we know about Bobby. Oops. 
might help if I actually aim. I'm guessing we're going to get new things to craft here as well. Uh, if I press start, will it work? On I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Ah, you have to hold him and then you, you press your thumb down until he explodes. And then it takes you to the main menu. Yeah, so I've now unlocked this prison, the second prison. Um, but yep, yeah, so that's Prison Boss. Uh, if you like it, check it out. It's out now. Um, I'm on PSVR. I don't know if it's out on anything else, but definitely out on PSVR. Um, I think it's out now as well, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's a fun game. Like I said, here's the endless mode where you just continuously pull the lever and try and do as much as you can and get a high score. Over here is your load. So if you want to load a save file, you just grab the stamp and stamp it. Um, and if you want to play a new level, you just toss the little guy into the, the different prisons. And back here is just the tutorial and the general settings for the comfort zone and whatnot. But yep, great game. Lots of fun. We've got a full review coming over on gamepit.co.uk. So that's G-A-M-E-P-I-T-T.co.uk. I've uh, got a full review on there in the next couple of days. Um, leave any other... I've just noticed there's some, um, some rather... Um, naked looking ladies over there but yeah uh, if you um, like the game let me know down in the comments below if you've got any questions feel free to ask and i'll answer them as best as i can but thanks for watching and i will catch you in my next video which should be soon because i've got another vr game to try straight away so thanks for watching and bye bye